Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil Hollinsworth and on this episode we're gonna talk about how you can make your own ghost shrimp sifter. It's something uh, Jeremy Smith and I from Southern Roots, Alabama have been working on. It's a really efficient way to catch ghost shrimp, especially when you're trying to pump real fast and you don't want to pump in the water and have to search for the ghost shrimp. These tools are the way to go. So Jeremy Smith's gonna break it down for you step by step. Stay tuned, that's coming right now. Phil and I came up with this idea together. This is a ghost, ghost shrimp sifter. <laughs> Say that a couple times. But all it is is some PVC, some 90 degree elbow pull noodles, and some zip ties. We got four pieces of three quarter inch pipe, at a foot a piece. The reason why I cut them out a foot to make a one foot square is because the pull noodle is 48 inches. So when we cut four of them, that's 48 inches. So what we'll do is we'll take this, take the elbows, Just like that. We don't need to glue it because when we zip tie your mesh to it, that's going to pull it tight to the mesh and there's no way for it to work its way loose. So you actually don't have to need, you don't need any glue, you don't have to glue it or anything. These are just regular wire zip ties. You can buy them a little shorter. These are just what I had around the house, so I've been using them up to get rid of them. So you just take them. I don't tighten them all the way down until I get them all put in just in case I want to adjust them. But I'll put three on each side. And I try to go to the, the last full wire or the first one. That way when you put your pull noodle on, it actually gets slit down the middle and covers that up. Now you can go through and pull them all down tight. Take your pliers. So now you got the, the main frame of it done. See what I mean where you don't have to glue it? The pressure from these holds everything in place. So when your mesh goes bad or one of these breaks, you can actually take the entire thing back apart, fix what needs to be fixed, put it back together. You don't have to buy more PVC or anything. Okay, so now that we have this put together, get your pool noodle ready. You want to cut your noodle from elbow to elbow. So we'll take it, it doesn't have to be exact, but just like that.
Now the reason why I turned this each time and I set these in an order is because if I didn't push the elbow in far enough, one of these might be shorter than the other. So by me doing it the way I did it, this one would be here, this one would be there, this one here, and this, and this one here. So that way I can keep them all going the same direction and I know they all fit like they should. So what you take, take your knife, and just slip that right down the middle, just right through that part of the noodle. So then you take it, just like that. And you do that same thing all the way around. Okay, now you got those are all on there. What we'll take is more of your zip ties. Put one on the end. And I try to get as close to the one right past where the needle goes or the noodle goes. And the reason why I do that, it helps snug everything up. You want them nice and tight like that. Because just like the other zip ties, when you zip tie these on there, it makes it even sturdier and helps hold everything together. One thing I didn't mention before, on the zip ties, you got this part that sticks out and this side smooth. This is the side that actually goes in there, just in case somebody's never used a zip tie before. That actually locks it in there so you can't open it up. If you put it on there like this, you can pull it open. So this way, the teeth actually lined in there and they're angled backwards and there's a little bar in there that goes like this so when this goes in there if you can see the little teeth in the zip tie it's uh, it acts like kind of like a car gear or a bicycle chain gear so if you don't go the right way it doesn't stay like it should And then what I do is I take two of these, put on one corner. Make them as big or small as you want to. And then what I do with that right there is I tie a rope to it. And then you can tie the rope around your belt or your pant loop and you can just drag this behind you and you don't have to hold on to it. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to settle for one color. 
If you like red, you buy a red noodle. If you like blue, you buy blue. But once you get everything together, you can see how sturdy it is without any glue. All right, you guys can laugh at him all you want, but this thing is awesome for holding your ghost strips.